I'm Jem Marion. It's nice to have you here. So welcome to class. Today we're going to be doing a flow class. All right, super super nice and um, simple, not too intense. I say that now. Sometimes I'll get halfway through and I'll be like, oh, maybe we'll just do a little extra. But you can kind of see how you go and get on. Um, what you will potentially need for class today is a block. If you don't have a block, use a tin can from the kitchen or some books. Just you can books are a little bit challenging because obviously I want you to have the block pretty much close to hand so that you can swiftly move it if you need it. Okay. So, but definitely a tin can will suffice, all right? Here we go. So you're gonna start off really, really nice and simple. You're gonna come into a wide knee child's pose. So separate your knees, big toes are touching. You're gonna start to reach your arms forward. So first of all, just coming into the breast. So drop the forehead down. You can even let the elbows start to bend. And then from here, just start to roll the forehead across your mat. I'm just starting to think about your breath right now. So beginning to deepen the inhales and the exhales. If you need to sigh out any of your breaths as well, then allow yourself to do that. Take another two or three breaths here. Starting to pull up ever so slightly through the pelvic floor, so engage in the lower abdominals, the transverse abs, and lifting up the pelvic floor. And if you're not sure where that is, imagine that you need to stop peeing mid-flow. <laughs> and then you're gonna switch it on. Now from here, just begin to reach the arms forward, get a little bit of length now, and you can just lift the head off the floor and just start to melt the heart a little bit down. Lengthen through the back of the neck and just keep the breath flowing. You want your hands to be quite wide, so at least the width of your mat. Next inhalation, you're going to come up onto all fours, so slide the hands back as you need to. Hands are directly below your shoulders, fingertips are spread. Okay, curl, curl your toes under. Okay, we're going to come into some simple cat cows. So you're going to take an inhalation, lengthen through the back of the neck. You're going to draw the shoulder blades together and lengthen the tailbone towards the back of the room. As you exhale, tuck the tailbone under. So now start to round into the lower back. Ripple that up through the spine. Tuck the chin to the chest. Press the floor away. Inhale again, beginning to dip down deep into the belly. Retract the shoulders. Start to draw up through the crown of the head. Lift the tailbone. As you exhale again, begin to press and round and press the floor away. Even use your feet. Really press, press, press. Two more times, inhale, shoulders back, belly drops, but you're still got a slight engagement in your belly, so don't let your belly hang, keep engaging and pulling up the pelvic floor. And then as you exhale again, begin to round. Okay, final one, here we go, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, come back through to neutral and lengthen through the sides of your waist. Keep your toes, toes curled, toes curled, toes curled. Press into the mat, pull your bum towards your heels and then pick your knees up. Start to lift your bum up towards the back of the room. So keep the weight back, okay? So try not to keep the weight forward, okay? So this is really hard when you're here. So you wanna press the weight back. You might need to bring the hands a bit wider, in which case do that. Bend the knees and press the belly towards the thighs. You can tuck the chin to the chest, lengthen the spine, breathe. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're going to move a bit more into the legs as so you begin to pedal your legs. So you can go right and left, even take a little bit of a wiggle and a shake. Okay, from there, shift the weight onto the left leg. Take an inhale, lift the right leg up, high. As you exhale, pull the knee to the nose and step the foot down in between the hands. Drop down to the left knee. You're gonna hug your hips in, pull your belly in. Take a big inhale, reach the arms up. Spread your fingers and get some energy through your hands. Root down through that front foot as well as the back foot. As you exhale, you're going to bring the hands back down. You're going to find a nice long plank here. So press the floor away, engage through the belly, lengthen through the back of the neck. You're going to hold for five, four, three. You might start shaking, that's okay. Two, and one. From there, bend your knees, press your bum back again towards the back of the room, back into your down dog. Pedal, pedal. Okay, shift the weight back into the right leg. Inhale, left leg high. As you exhale, left knee to nose. Pull it in, press the floor away. Step the foot down in between the hands. Drop to right knee, so we're in lunge position. Take a big breath, inhale, reach up. And again, you wanna collect the whole of the hip bones, whole of the lower belly as you reach the arms. And breathe. As you take the next exhale, frame the left foot, step back again, find your long plank, engage your belly, press the floor away, hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Bend your knees, press it all the way back, downward facing dog. Okay, from here, look forward, rise to your tiptoes, begin to walk your feet forward all the way to the top of the mat. Bring the feet hip distance. Take an inhalation, hands to shins, lift the heart up, or maybe fingertips to floor. As you exhale, fold. We're gonna do that again. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Now you're gonna sink the weight into the hips, big inhale, lift all the way up, lengthen through the spine. Okay, try not to stick your bum back, think about pubic bone to navel, lengthen the lower back. Okay, lengthen the sides of your waist, sink deeper than you wanna go, and distribute the weight evenly throughout your feet. Hold for three, keep breathing, for two, and one, exhale, fold all the way over your legs. Gaze towards your belly, straighten your legs out. Inhale again, lift up halfway. As you exhale, left leg is gonna step back. Okay, this time we're gonna come into high lunge. So again, pull the lower belly in, pull the hip bones towards one another. Press into the feet, inhale, reach up through the arms. So super, super, super strong with the legs. Engage and still through the pelvic floor, create space in the lower back and just breathe. <laughs> Most important thing is to breathe. We're here for three more, three, two, and one. We're gonna take it into a little side twist. So you're just gonna start to reach your arms out to the side as you twist to the right. Keep hugging your hips in so your hip will wanna turn Try not to do that, keep everything nice and plugged in and just turn as much as you can through the upper part of the spine. Back leg is firm, hold. Don't compromise the shoulder. Three, two, and one. Inhale, arms come back up, exhale, hands come down. Okay, here we go, step it back, find your plank, hold it there. 
breathe. <laughs> I know it's hard. Your legs will be burning. Good. Three, two, lengthen the back of the neck. Try not to sink in or collapse in the shoulders. Press the floor away. And one, bend your knees. Send it all the way back. Find your down dog. We're going to take an inhale, lift that left leg high. Here we go. Step it forward in between the hands. Find that high lunge position. Engage the belly. Sweep the arms up. That leg is really strong. So you want to feel the energy of the back leg pressing back and scooping the hips in. And again, even I'm out of breath. Okay, keep breathing. We're here. Again, for a nice five breaths, or three breaths, I think we did last time, for three. Actually, it's longer because I keep talking. Two, trying to distract you from the pain. Not pain, pain. Hopefully, strong, strong work. Two. And one. Now, we're going to take it out again to the left side. So, we're going to come into that twist. Hug the hip bones in. Engage through the belly. Back leg firm. Hold. Three. Two. And one. Inhale back through to center. Exhale, hands come down. Find your plank again. Hold it there. So you really want to feel your quadriceps here. Okay, I'm feeling mine. And again, breathe. Hold three, two, and one. Now we're going to lower down. So you're going to tip the weight forward, drop your knees and modify if you need. But you're going to lower for five, four, three, two, and one, all the way down onto your belly. Uncurl your toes, roll your shoulders back. Okay, here we go. Take a big inhalation, lift the spine up into cobra. Exhale to lower. Two more times. Inhale, lift. Elbows move back, make sure they don't wing out to the side. And exhale down. Okay, here we go. One more time. Inhale, lift. And exhale to lower. Pull your toes under. Roll your shoulders back. Okay, I want you to drop the tailbone down towards the back of the legs. Make the legs firm. You're going to take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to press back up into plank. So inhale. Exhale. Press the floor away. Pull the bum back, back into downward facing dog. Okay, take a nice full breath as you inhale, lift the right leg high. As you exhale, knee to nose, step the foot down in between the hands. Spin the back foot down onto the mat. Okay, firm into the legs, engage through the belly, big inhale, sweep up into warrior two. And breathe. We're now going to go into Parjvavirabhadrasana, can't even say the word today. Okay, two, so we're going to bring the left arm back, inhale, lift the right arm up and back. Try not to collapse into the back of the body. Think about lift, okay? How high can you lift your heart up? Okay, spread your fingers. Energy is moving up through the body. Breathe. Okay, inhale, pull back through. Take it back into that warrior two. Exhale, elbow to knee. Left arm is gonna come up and over. Okay, look towards the left hand. Again, firm the legs. Press the floor away. Try not to just lean into the leg. Think about really engaging the legs and pressing and engaging the core. One more breath. Inhale, pull back through the center. Exhale, windmill those hands down onto the mat. Spin on the back, left leg. Here we go, step it back. Find your plank. Take a big inhalation. As you exhale, lower for five, four, three, two, one, all the way down. Here we go. Inhale, lift. 
exhale to lower. We're doing that two more times. So really dig your pubic bone into the mat, extend the legs back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. And again, inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Curl the toes under, engage the belly, keep the legs firm, tailbone towards the heels. Take a big inhalation. As you exhale, press the floor away. Find yourself back into downward facing dog. Pedal, move, shake it out. Here we go, left leg's rising. Exhale, left knee to nose, step the foot down, back foot spins down. Engage the belly, here we go, up we come. Big breath, warrior two. Okay, legs are firm, belly is firm, and you are a warrior. Okay, and again, you're breathing. Press down firm into your feet. And then you're gonna reverse your warrior. Right hand down, inhale, chest up, arm back. So again, imagine energy is pulling up through the legs, all the way up through the very center of the body, lifting the heart up. Inhale, pull back through the center. Find that warrior two shape again. Exhale, reach, elbow to knee, right arm up and over. So now we have this long line of energy. And you can bring the gaze to the right hand if you can. Again, super strong through the core. Don't collapse in the hip. You wanna even be able to maybe even lift the hand up. Then you know you're really working. And again, hold it. Three, three, two, one more breath. One, inhale back into that warrior two. And then exhale, we move those hands down. Here we go, press the floor away, step it back, find your plank, lengthen through the back of the neck, broaden the collarbones, we're lowering down for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna stay down here, you're gonna reach your big toes back, okay? Root down through your pubic bone, and then we're gonna bring the arms back behind us, Lengthen the arms back, okay? So really feel like you are lifting and lengthening. Scoop up the pelvic floor, pick the feet up, hold it. Again, just keep breathing and lengthening. So even though you're going into a back bend, you wanna feel the space in the whole of the spine. Again, breathe. I'm shaking like a leaf, two. And one, exhale. Hands back underneath the shoulders, roll the shoulders back. Here we go. Inhale, we're gonna lift to cobra. Exhale, we're gonna lower. We're gonna do that two more times. Inhale, the lift. Head is really the last thing that comes up. Exhale, to lower. So you're like a cobra rearing your head. Inhale, to lift. And exhale to lower. Here we go. So curl the toes, belly in, legs are firm, hands are rooted, elbows back. Inhale, exhale, press the floor away, back into downward facing dog. And again, pedal it out, move, breathe. You're gonna inhale, look forward. Okay, you can walk forward, or if you have a little bit more in you, you can take a little hop, okay? If you're gonna take a hop, you're gonna to rise to your tiptoes, shoulders forward, grip with your fingers. Exhale, bend your knees. You're gonna pounce like a lion. Okay, here we go. Inhale, lift, whoop! I pounce a little too high like a lion. Okay, feet hip distance, lift the heart up. Exhale to fold. Sink deep into the hips. Inhale, reach the arms up. Lengthen through the sides of the waist. Hold it here.
Okay, shift the weight to the left leg. Inhale, pick the right leg up. You're gonna send the right leg back behind you, and then you are gonna turn and face the side of the mat. So both feet are gonna come forward and turn forward. Hands onto the waist. Take a big inhalation, lift the heart up. As you exhale, come all the way down and forward. Take a hold of your big toes with your index, your middle finger, and your thumb. Take an inhalation as you lengthen your spine, as you exhale, fall. And again, breathe. <laughs> Inhale again, lift the heart up halfway. Engage the belly, exhale, hands to hips. Bend the knees, inhale it up. Exhale, release the arms. Okay, inhale again, arms wide. As you exhale, interlace the fingers behind your back, okay? Let the hands slack slightly, but keep the grip of the fingers so the palms don't need to be together. Just roll your shoulders back and lift your chest up. Engage your core, pull up your legs. Inhale, exhale, fold. Keep smiling on your way down. Try, try to create a little bit of space. You want to feel a little bit of space in your shoulders. Inhale, press into the feet, come up. Exhale, again, this time we're gonna bend the knees. We're gonna step back to the top of the mat. Feet hip distance, sink it low into those hips. Lengthen through the sides of the waist, take a big breath. So you're really learning to balance as well here. As you shift the weight to the right leg, pick the left leg up. Exhale, send it back. Okay, here we go, we're gonna turn again, both toes turn forward, roll the shoulders back, okay? Inhale, lift the chest up, exhale, you're gonna come down and forward, this time hands to the floor. Inhale, lift the heart up, exhale to fold. And you can walk the hands back. Inhale, lift again, halfway. Again, engage the legs, exhale, hands to waist. Inhale it up. Exhale, bend the knees. Again, step back, top of the mat. Try to take it slow, hip distance. Sink deep into the hips, lengthen. Okay, reach the arms up. Hold it here again for three. For two. And one, exhale, straighten the legs, fold it over. Oh. Take a hold of each elbow and then just dangle. Release it out. Okay, inhale, lift halfway. Exhale. You're gonna press the hands down into the mat. Okay, so you want the hands for the forward of the feet. You want to really start to engage your belly. So what you might start to think about is having the hands quite far forward to begin with, especially if you cannot bring your hands flat. Okay, so a little micro bend into your knees, hands a little further forward, press into the hands, engage the belly, inhale, press into the feet, into the hands and see if you can pull up onto your tiptoes, hold, and then exhale to lower. Okay, we're gonna go again, press, inhale, up onto your tiptoes, high as you can, hold, and then exhale to lower. You wanna be looking at this space like a triangle in between the hands, okay? so you're kind of not looking directly down, a little bit further forward, but you want to not um, have the shoulders go by the ears. You want to be pressing the shoulders back. So you want to feel that the stabilizers of the scapula are starting to switch on. Okay, so serratus anterior, we are pressing the floor. So here we go. 
inhale weight into the hands press rise to your tiptoes as much as you can shoulders a bit further forward of the wrist and exhale to lower if you feel super comfortable you can take a few hops back okay and find that long plank okay or you can come a little higher up and do maybe a little handstand hop and then jump it back so here we go press into your hands inhale up exhale back when you land there's a little bit of bend in the elbows a little bit of give find the plank exhale lower five four three two and one all the way down and again roll the shoulders back root down to the pubic bone inhale lift find your cobra and exhale to lower okay we're going to do that again two more times lengthen the back of the neck inhale lift exhale to lower and one more time inhale to lift and exhale to lower Press into the hands, curl the toes. This time, press yourself back into that wide knee child's pose. Drop the forehead down, rest the forehead on the mat, let the elbows bend. Okay, from there, press into the hands. You're going to come up and find yourself in a little squat. Okay, so sink deep into the hips. Okay, hands can come further forward. All right, if you need to, you can sit on something. If it's too intense, so just sit on the block that I, gave, that I said to you to have. So just sit on that. And you want to try to get the shoulders um, or the arms to the insides of the knees. All right, so from this place, we're just going to take um, a couple of little um, Vikasana or crow poses, okay, depending on where you're working. Okay, so I'm going to give you some instruction for that. Hands are about shoulder distance, okay, and um, index or middle finger points forward. It really does depend on your mobility through your shoulders. Now you're going to lift your bum up as you shift the weight further forward into your hands. You're going to hook the knees towards the back of the arms and lean the weight forward. Okay? Now you have to really press the floor away, engage the belly, and look a little forward, but don't crook the neck up. Lengthen slightly through the back of the neck. Now, if you feel pretty comfortable, you can pick one foot up. So you have to squeeze the hamstring to pick a foot up. If you feel super comfortable, you can pick maybe two feet up and squeeze and press the floor away. Okay, we're going to hold for five. Engage the belly. Four, three, two, and one. Lower your toes down. Oh, sink back a bit. Shake it out with your hands. Okay, so we're going to go again. Okay, so we're going to try one more time. All right, here we go. So hands come down, a little, a little about shoulder distance. And again, you're going to grip. So you have to grip with your fingers. So don't let your hands be flat because otherwise it will hurt your wrists. Okay, so you have to grip with your fingers like Spider-Man. All right, or Spider-Girl. Rise up onto your tiptoes, lift your bum up. Lean the weight forward and see if you can pick one foot up off the floor, one toe. Squeeze with the hamstrings. Lengthen the back of the neck, but press the floor away. All right, here we go. Maybe two. And again, hold five. Belly's engaged. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bend the knees. Oh, drop your feet. Shake it out. Shake it out. 
Alrighty. Very good. Okay, so from here, we're going to take some little frog hops to the top of the mat. Okay, so you're going to bring the hands forward, engage through the belly, and you're going to take a little hop forward. See if you can slow it down. Okay, one more time. Hands forward, little hop forward, maybe catch, and then lower. Drop your left hand down and then just open up through the right arm. Big breath. Okay, we're going to go the other way. So right hand down, left arm up. Left hand is going to come down. We're going to lift the hips up. Again, we're just going to dangle for a moment. Shake it out. Okay. Here we go. So hands down, step back, find your plank position. Okay, we're going to lower down, just lower at your own pace. Inhale, lift your heart up, shoulders back, chest lifted. Exhale to lower. Okay, we're going to go one more time. Inhale, lift. And exhale to lower. Okay, so from here, we're just going to stretch it out a little bit through those arms. So you're going to bring the right arm forward. We're going to go thread the needle. Left arm is going to come underneath. And you're just going to allow yourself to square yourself off to, the, to that left arm so that you're lying across the arm. Palm faces up. Use the right hand to rest the forehead. Okay, so what you want to feel here is a little bit of stretch in the top of the shoulder, so around the deltoid. Okay, you're going to release the right hand, pick it up, and we're going to go to the other side. So right arm is going to thread through, and again, looking forward, square yourself off. So you don't want to roll onto the right shoulder, because otherwise you're really not going to feel the stretch. Okay, so as soon as you roll onto the shoulder, then you've kind of lost it a bit. You want to try to keep yourself square. Support your head. Take in two more breaths. And then just release. You're going to roll over onto your back. From this place, you're going to interlace your fingers. So soles of the feet are on the floor. You're going to interlace the fingers and just let the hands just rest at the back of the head. So the thumbs at the, are in the occipital ridge, so just between the skull and those big bones, okay, the skull and the neck, and the big bones on either side of the spine. So just thumbs there. Tuck the chin in. Let the head be heavy in the hands. And then just slowly turn the head to the right. Make sure it doesn't hurt you. If it hurts, you don't do it. Stretch into the side of the neck. And then keeping the chin tucked in, let's go other way. Head to the left. Inhale, head back through the center, and then exhale to release. Okay, press it into the feet, roll the shoulders underneath you, take a big inhalation as you press down, okay, you're going to lift your hips up and just come into a very simple Setu Bandhasana. You can roll the shoulders a bit further underneath you, interlace the fingers um, if you can, and then press the floor away, okay? 
So you want to feel also like you're rooting down through the base of the big toe. So it's not that you're collapsing into your arches, but it is definitely that you are using the inner seam of the foot. All right, so that stops the knees splaying out. It starts to switch on the inner thighs. And then you're pressing down, lifting the hips up. Take another breath. And then exhale to lower. Okay, from there, just hug the knees into the chest. Okay, so from here, we're just going to come into a simple twist. So we're dropping it all the way down now. So take your hips over to the left, knees stay close to the chest. Let the knees roll to the right. Now, if you find your left shoulder hangs off the floor, you're going to use that brick and place it underneath the, underneath the knees or in between the thighs. And again, just let the whole of the body settle and drop, release the jaw. Okay, we're going to go the other way. I know sometimes it feels like you want to stay forever. I want to stay forever sometimes. <laughs> okay. And so knees back to chest. And then shift the hips to the right. Keep the knees together. And then again, use your brick if you need to, especially if that right shoulder leaves the floor. And then allow yourself to again come into your twist. Okay, inhale, head back through to center, knees back through to center, shift everything back through to center, hug your knees in close, gently rock on your spine. And then we're going to come just into a supine baddha konasana. If you start to feel pain around the sacrum or anything like that when you're in this shape, in, and you're on your back, then you definitely need to make sure you're supporting underneath your knees, okay? Because sometimes you can get the sensation like the sacrum or the lower back is being pinched. So we don't want that sensation. All right, so here we go. You're just going to allow yourself to settle down. Let your legs start to relax. Hands onto your hips. Release your jaw. Close your eyes. Take a big breath in. Oh, and exhale, sigh it out. Know that you worked so hard, okay? So you worked so hard. That was a tough practice. And you did good, all right? So now is the time to let it go. Just allow the weight of the body to become very deeply rooted into the mat. You can feel the weight of the feet, the hips, the upper back, the back of the skull. The pelvic floor is releasing, the lower belly is relaxing. The jaw is starting to soften. And just allow the jaw to slacken slightly. 
and the tongue is behind the bottom teeth. It's really relaxed and settled. If you want to continue to relax here, please do. Otherwise, if you are ready to move, you can hug the knees in. You're gonna gently just roll yourself to the right side. Take a breath here. And then slowly find your way up to your seat. Thank you for practicing with me today, and namaste. Don't forget to subscribe.